Today I'm going to be sharing with you an incredibly delicious brownie recipe. It is gluten free and vegan and it's a small batch recipe so it's perfect for when you feel like something sweet but don't want to whip up a big dessert. I'll quickly run through the ingredients and share some suggestions on how to substitute them if you need to. So the baking soda and salt, unfortunately you can't substitute that the coconut oil now if you don't want to use oil in this recipe you can probably swap this with applesauce banana puree any fruit puree should work to add moisture to the recipe and because we have nut butter in this that will replace the fat from this one as well so um, it should work without it coconut sugar you can swap this with any other sugar you like white sugar brown sugar i personally like a brown sugar or coconut just for that flavor Cocoa powder, you can swap this with cacao powder if you like, however that will be a bit bitter. Um, or you could also do carob powder. For the flour, I am using the gluten-free one-to-one blend from Bob's Red Mill. I personally love using this when I'm doing my baking. It um, bakes really well, especially in brownies. It just gives it a really nice tender texture and a fudgy texture as well. Um, but you can probably swap this for wheat flour, spelt flour, buckwheat flour, or any other gluten-free flour bin you like. Then I'm using some soy milk. You can use whatever plant-based milk you like. Then we have peanut butter. You can swap this for any other nut or seed butters. Um, it will change the taste a little bit though if you do change it. Almond butter would definitely be really great in it. Vegan chocolate chips. These you can leave out if you like. You can also add in some walnuts. And then we have vanilla extract. This is great to add in to balance out the chocolate. To a bowl, add the coconut sugar coconut oil, peanut butter, plant-based milk, and vanilla extract. Then give that a mix. Then add in the flour, cocoa powder, baking soda and salt, and mix this together. Then fold through most of the chocolate chips and leave some for the top. For baking it, I just have this little dish. It is a great size, but if you don't have a small dish like this, you could probably pop it in uh, a muffin tray and make like mini little brownie things. Popped a bit of oil in this dish to grease it. Just flatten it to the edges. Then I just like to pop on the remaining chocolate chips on top. Pop in the oven for around 15 to 18 minutes. I'm pretty sure that is what I did last time, but we'll see how many minutes it takes. The brownies are ready. My kitchen smells so delicious. And I've let these cool for around 20 minutes so far. Now let's dig in. This is so good. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Hot tip is to serve it with some vegan ice cream and it is out of this world. I'm going to be sharing some more recipes soon, but if you have any suggestions, do leave them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.